With the exception of a few countries, I don't think we're going to see very large fiscal support in 2021 relative to 2020. But that's okay because Asia is in a far better state with respect to pandemic management, with respect to growth recovery than their counterparts in the West. And therefore, I think it's a fairly easy set of arguments to be made that given the favorable growth differential, given attractive valuations, Asian economies and markets will attract investor interest they will do better, and therefore we are actually making a fairly strong outperformance call for Asian asset classes and Asian economies in 2021 relative to the rest of the world. So what, what asset classes in Asia do you like? What do you think is going to be the first out into the door into recovery? So we think that you know, in the equity space, certainly given the froth you see in the Western markets on a relative basis, Asian valuations look attractive. Uh, and within that, you also have the Asian exporters who probably will benefit a lot uh, given the strong demand and the likelihood of a weaker dollar, uh, which typically hurts competitiveness. But given that there's a lot of stuff that Asian exporters make that will be at a premium demand in the rest of the world, whether it is electronics or you know, home improvement equipment or PPEs. So therefore, a strong dollar, a strong local currency at a time when there is strong demand is a win-win for many Asian exporting companies uh, across the board. So that's sector number one. We also think that in the credit and um, sovereign debt space, there is still value in Asia. There is a yield star of investors all over the world who are going to be looking for value, and they will find, particularly in China, uh, government bond space, quite a bit of value remaining. We can also see some other countries like Indonesia, which had a bit of a torrid time on the sovereign debt space in 2020, again, find eager investors coming in and room for a rally next year. Okay, you've put out uh, 12 uh, trade ideas and strategies for 2021. I want, you, I want you to give our viewers the top rates, top currency, and top credit strategy for the year. Well, after the 12, you know, it's hard to pick our favorites. That's why we came up with 12. But I'd say that, you know, the steeper uh, DM curve argument is consensus. We're not doing, going out on a limb with that one. But also on the rate space, our view that there's a relative sing dollar rates of performance on the cards, I think, is a popular one within our team, and we like that. We definitely think that the Indonesian rupiah, Indian rupee, and Philippines peso, the three high yielders of Asia, putting them in a basket against the U.S. dollar would be a very good carry trade. It's paid well this year. It'll probably pay even better next year. And on the credit space, we think that uh, uh, one can uh, certainly uh, you know, be missing out if they don't look at uh, getting exposure to China's recovery trade, particularly China property and consumer cyclicals.